This is our food forest, it's almost two years old. We have around 78 different varieties of trees and some medicinal herbs, like 12 different medicinal herbs. So we'll try to cover as much as possible. And some of the names of trees, are, I don't know in English, so bear with that. So first of all, we have coconut tree here. So most of you might have know about coconut tree. I have this particular tree at home. Uh, you can use from like top to bottom everything uh, for food, for your body, for conditioner, for hair oil and for firewood, at building a shelter. So this coconut tree is used for everything. And along with the coconut tree, uh, we have Moringa here. Moringa is one of the miracle tree, uh, which is uh, loaded with vitamins and minerals in them. So they have a saying in Tamil that uh, if you have a cow and a Moringa tree, uh, your life is like settled. You don't need anything more to ha have a peaceful life. This uh, timberwood tree. This is a soft timberwood, usually used for making windows and uh, doors in Tamil Nadu. This is called uh, Poo Arasa Maram in uh, Tamil. This is uh, one of the citrus. Uh, the fruits will be like, uh, like two, 2 kilos size, too huge. Uh, we call it bubbly mass here. Uh, it will be like similar to pamolia, yeah, something like that. So it's not a jackfruit? It's not a jackfruit. The forest is designed in such a way that uh, it starts giving some yield uh, in first year and then it starts um, till like eternity. For example, it, it can give till 150 years. Each plant is around 9 feet away from each other. So we have a spacing uh, very dense one. So that the plants will compete with each other and grow much faster. And uh, we also have uh, one timberwood tree and uh, one fruiting tree. So after 30 years, maybe we'll chop off all the timberwood tree and uh, we'll have a fruiting tree, it will be a fruit orchard. So people used to ask like, uh, why are you planting timberwood tree in between the fruiting tree? Uh, will it be difficult to harvest the timber? Yeah, a, a bit it will be difficult to harvest when you are uh, doing it after 30 years. But the reason I am doing this is, uh, if I plant only timberwood tree here everywhere, after 30 years I chop and everything will be like uh, barren earth and I have to start over again from the beginning. But uh, now what I did is uh, we have a timberwood tree and a fruiting tree. After 20-30 years when you chop off the timberwood tree, the fruit trees will take up the sp extra space and the forest will always be there. Uh, after me, my son will be there, or my grandchild, if they are willing to be here. They'll, they don't have to start from the beginning. They can start from where I left it. Usually uh, turmeric doesn't grow in this uh, area, but since a lot of shade and everything is there, we are having turmeric here. Uh, we are using it for our own purpose. We are not doing anything commercially here. So the turmeric powder that we use here comes directly from the farm. Timberwood tree uh, called Karumarudu. I, I don't know the English name, but it's a it's a very good timberwood tree. And on top of that, uh, we have a vine climbing. This is uh, ridge guard. You can see the ridge guard here. So this started giving food for us. So this one goes off and off on, like this is not a perennial crop. So maybe six months it will be there and then again we have to replant it. So we are always concentrating on putting plants that uh, we don't have to be bothered about at all. And we get returns like year on year. For example, these pineapples, we just planted them and uh, once, once we harvest them, a new shoot will come and then they start giving us uh, fruit every year. We don't have to do the digging, planting and then fertilizing all, all the time, we have, don't have to do that. And next one is the turmeric. Turmeric is also is perennial. Whatever we want, we can harvest per, uh, garlic, ginger, everything. We plant it here. Sorry, not garlic, only ginger. So, just a plant right now, but uh, they started giving fruit uh, after six months of planting. Uh, you see the fruit here. I can show you. This is a white variety. This is Lacto 39. So 
this one, this particular tree is uh, called a pencil tree. That locally we call it as a pencil tree. So the reason is the wood is very very soft. Usually used in pencil industry and also used in paper industry for making paper. Uh, we are currently using it for firewood. So you can see in two years uh, the growth of this tree is like huge. We chop it off and then we use it as a firewood for our farm. Uh, this one is a cashew nut tree. Uh, it's a very pretty big tree. It will grow to like 30, 40 feet uh, wide. It's a super napier grass. This is for our rabbits in the farm. Uh, we just uh, put a stem and then stem cutting and then it keeps growing here. It's a vegetable variety. So the fruits will not be tasty, but uh, the vegetable we can use for cooking. This is one of the fruit trees. Uh, the fruit will be like a small cherry type of thing. I forgot the name. Uh, once the fruit is ripe, it will be like a nice reddish color. This is sapota, uh, the fruit. Uh, or chiku, some yeah, people chiku, call it yeah. chiku. In North India they call it chiku. Uh, this is a fruit tree, turdal, usually called as lentils. Uh, we can use it for sambar and any dishes. It's, uh, the seeds are very rich in protein. So we have this to collect uh, dal for our farm. This one is a fig tree. It's a native fig tree. Uh, it's rich in, I don't know what, but it's a fig tree. This one is a pomegranate. It grows like a bushy kind of thing when it is very small. We will have to prune them. Right now we, we haven't pruned them. So this, this is a vegetable variety banana that I mentioned to you guys. Uh, like Since they are not watered properly, they gave like little what they can give. But we are happy with the harvest. Do nothing and get something. So uh, this one is the plant. Uh, when we were kids, we used to play with this. So what happens is the leaf will be like very huge. So when we want to eat food in the farm, so we don't take plates. We take the leaf like this and we get the food given on this and we used to eat. I always wanted to bring this plant uh, to my farm. But this is from some bird, bird droppings. It's growing on its own. We used to find it on the tank beds and other things. Now it's growing. I'm very happy. It's called mandarai uh, in Tamil. The leaf is used as a plate again. The leaf will grow so uh, very big, like like my palm. Yeah, my palm. And the dried leaves will have very nice aroma. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, when used when used to go to uh, butcher shop to buy any meat, uh, they don't give in plastics. I still remember tying like this two three leaves together, and then they pack the meat in this one. Meat will always be packed in this leaf. And sometimes uh, like sweets, halwa, everything, any oily item, anything, they'll be like packing in this one. It's very easy to make plate from this one. All we have to do is tear off the leaves and then join together. We take a stick like this, like small stick. And then we, we just do it together. And it stays in place like this. It'll become a plate, simple. Simple and handy, and still people are using this as a plate. It's called uh, water apple. Many might know this one. Uh, some fruits are here, like eating water apple. So last time we were not even able to eat. We were giving it to cows, and some of them we didn't even pluck. Very nice plant. Uh, the smell actually smells like uh, uh, orange. The leaf smell in the leaf initially looks like orange. Nice. This is like filled with water. This plant actually is called bushy tree. This is called uh, Mayan Kirai in Tamil. So, or we call it Chaya Kirai in Malayalam. So this is, uh, the origin is from Mexico. This has lot of vitamins and minerals in it. Uh, but we cannot eat this one directly. We can either uh, boil it and drink it as a soup or uh, we can put a uh, small tender leaves in the salad. So uh, that one is Agatha or Agatikirai. 
top call one okay this is very good source of protein for cattle it's rich in protein vitamins and minerals so we use it for cow goats and the rabbits early morning you come to this tree you can see lot of parrots sitting on this tree and they will be like uh, chop uh, munching on this nice flowers so this is their morning breakfast you can see like four or five uh, parrots in each tree it's called uh, malabar neem or malai vembu this is a uh, another variety of neem but uh, this is very much useful for timber the tree grows uh, straight so very valuable timber. this plant is called uh, sundakaya or turkey berry uh, this part is edible this this vegetable is edible fruits are edible or uh, jamun they call it jamun the fruit will be like black color it comes in october uh, season uh, or we usually call it as black currant here but it's actually not a black currant but it's uh, it attracts a lot of birds as this jack fruit this this forest uh, after 40 50 years uh, it will be full of jack fruit uh, orchard so this tree can grow till like 150 to 300 years so this forest is uh, designed in such a way that uh, every uh, three months we get a uh, yield one year five years 10 years 15 years so the fruit trees that we have uh, some of the hybrids also we have and some of the native species we have uh, the reason we have combined both is that hybrids usually give uh, yield in three to five years a native usually used to take like around 10 years time so we planted both and uh, one one other difference is hybrid uh, the yield of the fruits uh, will reduce over the age but with the native species it increases over the age uh, hybrid can be kept for like 10 to 15 years and uh, native species can be kept for like uh, 20 to 30 years so that's why we have combination of both here what is this plant Oscar? pineapple where the pineapple grow? where here. does the pineapple? here on the top right? right now we don't have anything here but in some time small baby Talk pineapple something about will pineapple. Come. this is green color and Pineapple is yellow color, okay? Pine this green color, pineapple is yellow color. Lot of we had lot of thorns and then we chopped How do you call thorns in Tamil? Bulle. Uh -huh, super. Every other day, sapla, my every sapra there. Ah, every day, you have to sapra, mulle, mulle. Mulle is sapra, mulle. Ah, every sapra. Better, ma. So this is used in herbal medicine. So I, I just got like four plants, four trees of this variety. I actually don't know how I'm going to use it, but maybe in future I'll use it. Name is grass. I can give the cow or duck. Ducks. We don't have ducks. Which animal can eat this one? Cow. And? Rabbit. Rabbit, okay. It looks like duck. Can you see the difference? Yes. Yeah. Pineapple. That's a basil. <laughs> this is named basil. You have to chop it. This tree is another variety of fig, uh, not a native variety, this is an exotic variety. It has a large canopy, so we planted it uh, in the forest. This is rosewood. Uh, the wood inside is going to be like very uh, pinkish in color. Uh, for all the furniture and everything, uh, this is a high valued uh, timber, just like sandalwood and uh, red sander. Rosewood also has a high uh, value, so after 20 years we can harvest it. This one is called Manjakadambu in Tamil, uh, another timber variety. So we have around like 20-30 timber wood varieties here. That's it. Uh, this plant is called uh, Tutti in Tamil. Uh, it has uh, flowers like we call it like lotus shape but I don't know uh, maybe it looks like a lotus shape flower this particular plant is a medicinal one this is very useful for piles
food for us need some trimming. Okay. Uh, this plant is called uh, Uti apple. Uti apple. Yeah, Uti apple. Uh, this is a fruiting tree. The fruits will be like small, small apples. Uh, the variety is called the Balaji. So we have uh, other citrus as well, like uh, oranges. We have uh, a few other citrus plants here. We have four or five varieties of citrus here, like lemon, uh, sweet lime, oranges. <coughs> This is May flower. It gives us like purple color uh, flower. Once it blooms, it will attract a lot of uh, birds and uh, pollinators. Yeah. <coughs> this vine. Uh, this is uh, one variety of potato. This is called uh, air potato. So usually the potatoes come starts coming in the vines, and it also has a rhizome in the bottom. So this rhizome is very tasty, just like potato, but it will be in a huge size, this this big. So this is like a food reserve. Once you plant this uh, sapling and you can forget about it, it's like uh, every year it will start growing and it is giving a lot of rhizomes. This is actually our uh, food security. Uh, whenever there is a famine or something, we can just go next to this plant and uh, dig up the roots and we can favorite plant. Potato <laughs> and yes, here, I planted it myself. And here we have tapioca. Tapioca also planted myself. <laughs> uh, this is called uh, Mardani in Tamil, Mehendi, Mehendi in Hindi. We use it. The for leaves are used for uh, dyeing. Uh, it has a uh, orange color uh, uh, dyeing property. So this green color leaf, once uh, ground into a paste, it gives a uh, orange color tan like this. You can put it on your fingers, hands, legs. It cools down the body. And you can have it in hair oil. You can as, even as, uh, apply it as a face. Sorry, no hair head pack. <laughs> pack on your head. We showed mango. No, we didn't show mango. But this is baby mango. Yes, okay. So uh, this one is mango, or mambaram in Tamil. Mambaram. Tam yeah, in Tamil culture, uh, three fruits are like king of fruits. One is like mam uh, like mango, banana, and jackfruit. So our forest has all the three. Medicinal herb. Uh, this is called Kesavartini. It's very good for uh, hair oil, making hair oil. It's very easy to propagate. Just uh, have a cutting and put it in the soil. It will grow like this. And it also gives nice purple flower. Mm -hmm. That mango growing nice. Mango. This. Mm -hmm. This plant is called uh, Pei Mirati. So, dry this plant, and uh, once it is dry, uh, you can burn this plant. For this, this smoke has uh, antibacterial effect. This plant is called uh, Ada Toda Idai. So, this is very much useful in uh, preparing uh, herb, uh, pesticides for. Uh, all the organic uh, farmers. This plant uh, is a flowering plant. It's called Shenbagam. The flowers are white in color and a very good aroma. And I planted this because my mom's name is also Shenbagam. This one is hibiscus. It has a beautiful flower, which can be, it has a lot of hibiscus in uh, natural medicine. You can make tea out of it. You can create a face pack. You can create a scalp pack for your scalp. You can put it in your Hair oil, lot of other medicinal plant. It's called Tavasi Kirai. It'll become like a big tree. Uh, it's like edible. We have tulsi here already. So uh, this plant is tulsi. It's very auspicious in Tamil culture. So people usually every single morning, women are expected to wake up, take bath, and uh, go and pray next to this plant. And uh, you, people usually pluck this plant leaves and put it in the drinking water. 
it uh, cleanses all the bacteria from the drinking water so what i usually do every day walking in the forest is that i just pluck some of them and then eat you don't even have to brush your teeth you will feel so fresh in your mouth So uh, this plant is called bone setter plant. In Tamil, it's elmbotti. How to identify this plant? Just take few leaves, and then you crush it. You can feel it's very slimy and slippery in your hands. Uh, this is uh, rich in calcium. This plant is rich in calcium. If you have a bone fracture or a, like bone density problem, osteoporosis, every day. take a handful of this leaf grind it put it in a milk and then drink this one your uh, calcium level in your body will increase a lot uh, this plant uh, i mean this is a tree this is mulberry uh, one of the fruits that we have here uh, we use this uh, for rabbits we use this as a food for rabbits ra mulberry leaves this plant i think it's mahogany another timberwood tree next to uh, teak it's very hard wood it's also a uh, life insurance so after 20 30 years we can chop it and we can sell it if needed guys why fight is there so to come let bin janwaro is this our rabbit or wild rabbit Wild rabbit. Oh ho. Okay, Dinji Varu, let's go. Uh this plant is called uh, sorghum. Uh it's like a canopy tree. Once it is huge, be uh, for shade. This is another variety of amla. Another variety of amla. This is like tiny and uh, very nice to eat. This one is tamarind. Fruits will be like very tangy. It's used in sambar, rasam, lot of uh, dishes, fish gravy. Sweets also with dates we can prepare. Yeah, we can prepare tamarind. That plant is uh, bamboo. It's a thorn variety, local bamboo variety. Uh, we can use this bamboo for construction, lot of stuff. Once you are dead, uh, we need this bamboo for uh, carrying you. This is a Tamil culture. So they make a bamboo bed. and top of that they make you lie down and then they'll take you for the final ride no. this is called uh, ilupai maram uh, we can get uh, biodiesel from this particular tree this will be like a canopy tree very huge like a banyan tree uh, it starts flowering after 10 years of time so once we get the seeds from them uh, we can make biodiesel we can have our own diesel uh, this can run uh, all the diesel pumps this one uh, it has a different leaf structure uh, this is called uh, wood apple this is a thorny variety we have this in the farm this is called uh, velvela marom vela marom uh, this is very useful for your brushing your teeth gums all gum problem this plant and one more good use of this one is like to make alcohol in olden times uh, they used to take the bark of this particular tree and then soak it uh, in a pot with uh, jaggery and other stuff and ferment it and then they make alcohol out of it so from this pattai pattai means bark of the tree they make this alcohol so it is called pattasarayam ah wow what we found Yeah, I can also see the sun. This is a Goa variety. This is called Malaysian Red Goa. Uh, this particular variety, the bark, the tree, the leaves, the stem, everything will be like reddish in color. Even the fruit outside will be reddish in color. 
you uh, this is like very crunchy variety it will not be like soggy it will be like very crunchy i'll show you even the inside will be like nice and red so this is like a pink variety fully pink everything from the skin till inside even the seeds everything will be reddish it color this is called malaysian red goa and fruit will be very crunchy like a pear it will be like crunchy it not be like soggy like other goas it will be like crunchy while chewing you will feel the sound in your mouth if you can sell seeds for this girl hmm uh, nice herb uh, chitra thai uh, this is used in siddha medicine so it actually smells very nice so the leaf actually smells very good uh, it's like soothing and nice whenever you feel like uh, tension is there or uh, some nonsense in your head just come smell this and you you, you uplift your soul in tamil so this plant we use for rabbit feet uh, this is a very good uh, protein content in them and uh, this also is used for uh, killing the worms in the stomach so for, for even for humans you take a leaf and then grind it make it into a juice and drink this juice early morning so all the worms will be uh, gone you don't need any external chemical or albendazole or anything for that this is this one is a uh, curry leaf tree uh, this is uh, filled with lot of antioxidants so the good thing about this uh, curry leaf is that it enhances the flavor in the food and one more important aspect is that uh, the more you eat uh, you have like uh, a uh, lot of uh, vitamins and minerals added to your body and it also uh, improves your sexual drive and uh, it also gives a lot of uh, hair like nice uh, black hair this one is called a uh, hedge lucerne or uh, veli masal in tamil uh, this is the main rabbit food uh, that we use in our rabbitry and uh, this is part of our food for us land uh, whoever comes to our farm they will be very much interested because this is the sandalwood tree the most uh, valued uh, oil from this tree uh, it, it takes 20 years for this tree to produce enough oil uh, after 20 years we can harvest the hard wood inside the tree which has this uh, oil we have to extract 